I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand how to find higher order derivatives of logarithmic functions. The question is find first and second derivative of y equals to square root x ln x. So we are given y equals to square root of x ln x. We can apply the product rule to find the derivative. So dy dx the first derivative will be equals to when you apply the product rule that means d dx of square root x times ln x what do you get? You get derivative of the first function that is d dx of square root x times ln x plus first function times derivative of the second function right that is the product rule derivative of square root x that means x to the power of half is half times x to the power of minus half which could be written as 1 over square root x is it okay ln x plus square root x times derivative of ln x is 1 over x right so that is what you get now since we need to find the second derivative it's a good idea to simplify this particular expression so we could write this as ln x divided by 2 square root x plus this could be written as this is square root x times 1 over x could be written as 1 over square root x. Okay? So that becomes the first derivative. Now starting from the first derivative we can find the second derivative. Okay, So let's rewrite the first derivative. I'm not going to use a different nomenclature so we know y dash the first derivative is 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 uh, 1 over 2 square root x let me write this as power 1 over 2 x to the power of minus half is it okay so that is when you have square root x in the denominator times ln x plus x to the power of minus half. That helps us to use the power rule to find the derivative. Correct. Okay? That's why I've written in this fashion. So the second derivative is equals to derivative of this function. Right. So where we can apply the product rule. Right. So derivative of the first part is so I'm not writing in details. I'm making a shortcut. So derivative of the first part is half times minus half x to the power of minus half minus 1 which is minus 3 over 2 is it okay so that becomes the derivative of the first function time ln x plus the first function as such which i'm writing as 1 over 2 square root x well in this form derivative of ln x is 1 over x is it okay now derivative of x to the power of minus half which is equals to minus half x to the power of minus half minus 1 as we did here minus 3 over 2 is it okay so that is how we could write this derivative and now we could simplify this a bit minus 1 over 4 x to the power of minus 3 over 2 this could be written as square root of x cube Correct. ln x is on the top so let me write ln x here so that becomes the first term the second term here is plus 1 over 2 x times square root of x minus 1 over 2 square root of x cube is it okay so that is how we can write the second derivative of the given function, right? I hope that is clear and straightforward. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.